Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Phoebe. If this is the first time you're coming on this channel, I am a legal interpreter. I've been living in Germany for the past 18 years. And on this channel, I share with you my um, experiences in Germany, okay? And this one is about scam. How I nearly got scammed. He tried, but he didn't get me. But I'm going to try and explain how these things happen and show you the red flag you should look out for. So I signed up on this app and I've used this app before and it was successful in the year 2019 and it was really good. So when I was looking for an apartment um, last year after my mom passed in my course of grief, I had to, you know, change the environment to, you know, have a fresh start. And that is why I was looking for a new apartment. So I real I log in, I log back, I log back in on this app, you know, get everything going. And I see this apartment in Esslingen. And Esslingen was close to my job as at that time. And the apartment looks so neat and so clean. I tried to find the listing. Well, it's been some months, so I couldn't get it. I should have just screenshot the listing and keep keep it for this story time. But hey, I still have this email, so we are going to delve in this email. Let me just put the screenshot here so we read through it together. I'm going to be reading from the tablet. So the first red flag was the um the price and how the whole thing was put there. It, it was just too positive. It was it sounded too good to be true. Top Wohnung in Esslingen, Zentrale Lager, voll möbliert. Esslingen am Neckar. Voll möbliert, like fully furnished. For how much? 630 euros. And this 630 euros, if you live in Germany and you're looking for a apartment, you know that there are two different prices. You have the cold rent and the warm rent. So the cold rent is just the room without heating, without the extra cost. And the warm rent is when the apartment is obviously is warm, you know. So it depending on the kind of contracts your um, landlord or landlady has, you probably also have like water bills in it or light. No, some people add light, but that's that hardly happens. But water bill, heating, and sometimes you have to pay that yourself. But there's always some kind of extra cost, like maybe housemaster service, um, trash handling, and all of that. So that is it. So for the warm rent to be 630, I had a lot of questions. That was actually what I wanted to find out. Like what does the name cost until what does it what do i have to pay on top like from my own pocket directly to the you know various service providers so i would have a budget for the month so 630 was for four rooms three bedrooms and a living room and it was 60 square meters da -da -da -da. i was like ah. the the four room apartment i i had with my mom like my mom had that I was living in when I was growing up, had 120 square meters or 110. So I think it was 120. So why is this one 60, like half of it wasn't making sense. So that is red flag one, the price and what they were offering. One, 630 euros warm, two, fully furnished, three, 60 square meters, four, um, four, four rooms. Are you kidding me? So then, fifth red flag was he sent me the email directly from his email account straight to me. And at that time, because I was looking for apartments and I was applying for various apartments, all the other people offering apartments on rent um, were texting back through the app, as in through the platform that we were on, and not directly. So that was the next thing, like that was strange, but I said, okay. And what he said was, I'm concerning my apartment at this address. He added the address and I clicked on the address and it's really was a good location. You could um, go shopping, like Lidl was close by. They had a, a mall, like a shopping center close by. The, the train station was close by. I could even take a bus from the train station. Like if I, on this, I don't want to walk. I don't want to drive. Like things would be very easy for me. And I liked it. I have to confess, I liked it. I bought into it. And then he said, now let's get into the apartment. 
the apartment has 60 square meters a kitchen three bedrooms one bathroom a balcony tv i guess it means tv connection wireless one parking and a lot more on feeless smell that's the uvm on feeless smell on is sehr sauber hoffe ich doch kind regards he signs of his name and then two days later i asked him i said thank you for the information when can i inspect the apartment because it's, it sounded too good to be true so i wanted to see it and then he said hello unlimited rent contracts possible well that's not what i asked and i assumed that the rent contract was unlimited because you didn't say that in your um the listing you know and he said thank you for your answer the price is 630 euros including neighbor costing and thousand euros calcium calcium is the deposit you have to pay so neighbor costing included to the 630 meaning that calcium is usually two to three months of the cold rent right so two to three times two to three months times the cold rent meaning that it's about two months of the cold rent meaning cold rent is 500 euros for a four bedroom four room apartment he thinks I was born yesterday. <laughs> As I already said, I live in Dublin, Ireland. And I cannot travel to show you the apartment. Okay. I'm ready to send you the keys. So you can inspect and cross-check yourself. The rental process is going to take place on TripAdvisor website. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Let me use my mouth to do it. No, 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 no. two more red flags so if you cannot be there why can't you have someone here on location to say show me the apartment because i remember some years back this is my apartment i'm talking about that my mom had um was 120 square meters for four rooms like a big living room and everybody had a bedroom the owners the owners were in the united states and they had a caretaker so somebody on location like on ground for us to deal with like face to face and they also engaged the services of an agent well you don't necessarily need an agent if you're already on the this portal like on this website but you need a caretaker like a property is not something you just run out of ireland you know and you're going to say what if the keys get lost you know you're overseas you're literally overseas even germany and Ireland, you're overseas i think i my german program don't finish you know go cross it before you come here so why mentors like hey, i'm free what do you know what do? i'm do i'm on trip no hold on that trip advice is that not the the website that we check reviews for hotels restaurants literally like a tourist review site like you check tourist attractions and you read people's reviews you see how many stars they got so since this apartment is in a tourist place why are you putting it on TripAdvisor? i be TripAdvisor they, they rent apartments these days oh, what am i missing what am i missing let me calm down let me just calm down i need to eat because this thing when i when I, as i'm going through this i'm getting angry okay so after the fifty thousand red flags he goes through the process of saying that he can even give me 10% discount. After booking a trip advisor, I'm going to get a signed copy of the rental contract and, and the apartment key. Now he's talking about only one key. Now before it was plural, now he's talking about one. You're going to be using the trip advisor services in the first month. Please, guys, if I'm the one wrong about trip advice, let me know. Comment in the comment section down below. And if you have this kind of experience that is similar but not exactly like this, please comment down below so we can help each other and solve this for Hala because this is happening too much. It is just too, too much. <sighs> you are going to reserve the apartment for a month on trip advisor. I'm going to reserve it. <laughs> After that, we are going to conclude a regular tenancy at a contract in case you want to stay in the apartment where am i supposed to go i've moved though into your fully furnished apartment where am i supposed to go after oh he thinks he's, he's running a hotel or airbnb like if it's airbnb let us know it's airbnb you're running and i had similar experience some years back 2019 and his was he said he's going to put it on airbnb and I was like, mm. but this one is TripAdvisor. I think maybe it's the same person. He's graduated from Airbnb to TripAdvisor. 
and then if you don't like the apartment TripAdvisor is going to send you the money back into your account if you agree to rent the apartment trip advice you will send oh if you agree to rent the apartment trip advice is going to send the money to my account so i would pay to trip advice trip advice was sent to him thank you for your understanding and cooperation i am not cooperating don't thank you kind regards have a nice day you too so now let's break it down let's break it down one they will try to get you to sign and send money first before you pay for the apartment before you even get to you know they'll try to, to have you pay before you see the apartment and send you the keys later as they claim and they can even tell you that there are lots of people interested so you should secure your spot and you are not going to find him anywhere because that thing does not exist so if you want to investigate more you should probably go to the place yourself and you know ask the neighbors is there a free apartment a vacant apartment in this building and all that but i didn't even have to go that far because i realized that it was all a lie i hope this helps you guys i need to go and eat and drink something to calm down i'm very worked up <laughs> so if you need my services, I'm a legal interpreter, a court interpreter. I help you read your letters. I help you write your letters. I help you in your correspondence with the other authorities or any person that you need to correspond with and gather your documents for any application that you want to make, job search and all kinds, even apartment search. As you already know, I'm an expert. I can help you fish out the bad, um, the bad ones among the flock. So. Yes, take good care of yourselves and see you in the next one. Adele.